What's up guys, it's Ivan. So in the previous videos, we've set up our campaign and we've determined which uh, feature we should use, Power Editor or Ads Manager, to create our ads and see the results of our ads. In this video, I want to show you actually the, the bread and butter of Facebook, which is the Audience Insights tool, because this is how you find your customers, especially if you don't have a list, if you don't have what they call lookalike audience or custom audiences, you will need to put your ads in front of people with certain interests, kind of like in our uh, Google AdWords series, it's keywords, right? You can't show your ads to people just like that. We need to put in some keywords. And that's what this is. When we created our ad, we had to put in the interest section, right? And that was down here at the bottom here in the detailed targeting, okay? So that is a must, absolute must. So in this video, I'm going to show you where to find it, which is basically just if you go on the top left and you go to uh, Audience Insights tool here, you'll be able to, to plan it out and just show you what kind of features are available, what it is and how you can make use of it, okay? So let's jump in. So as you just saw, I entered the Audience Insights tool. It says introducing Facebook. Okay, so that's something new. What is this? Okay, never mind. Nothing new. Okay, so normally what they would do uh, at the beginning, let me see if I can refresh if it does anything, they'll tell you what you want to target. Do you want to target um, everyone on Facebook? Do you want to target a custom audience or a lookalike audience? For the purpose of this video, just stick to the first one, which is everyone on Facebook, because we'll be analyzing data, okay, from everyone on Facebook. So what the Audience Insights tool is, is it's a tool that allows us to see and gather information from everyone on Facebook, absolutely everyone on Facebook, okay? So as you can see, there's 200 right 150 to 200 million monthly active users on facebook age 18 plus and so here's where you would change everything you would change the country here you would change oh by the way sorry that's 200 million from the united states only if i close that out we have more than 1 billion monthly active users on facebook age 18 plus non you know men or women only just everyone uh, and we can put in the interest here, and I'll get into that a bit later. Here you have connections. So if you have any pages and you want to kind of analyze the audience of your page that you have, that maybe we've created, or maybe it's you know it's a page, maybe, maybe you have 500 likes or 500 followers, and you want to analyze those people, this is where you would do it. And advanced, this is something pretty cool too. It actually gives you their relationship status. It gives you their income. It gives you all sorts of information, really more than what you need, but you know, like, like even, even politics, like it gives you this detailed, this level of detailed information, something you definitely can't get from the Google keyword planner tool, for example, which is why Facebook is one of the most popular and the biggest traffic source ever. You can make a living just off doing Facebook ads because it's so detailed and it hits the audience that well. Okay. So, um, I'm going to, let me minimize that for now. So let me go into all this information here. So let's let's type in, you know, diabetes because that's what we've been doing or maybe, okay, let me, let me say dogs just because I don't know anything about diabetes and I don't want to screw up with all the terminology there. So let me just say dogs. So what this says is that uh, there is a Facebook group called dogs that, 250 to 300 million monthly active people from all over the world have liked, okay? That's what it means. 250 to 300 uh, million monthly active people that like this page. And as you can see here, there's 55% of these people are women, 45% are men, as opposed to, for example, the 56% of people, of, of men on Facebook overall, okay? Or the 44% of people, of, of women on Facebook overall. So that gives you kind of the comparison. And as you can see, the boxes are here as well. So the blue box is your interests and whatever you set up. So 18 to blank or eight, just 18 plus uh, people who like dogs from all over the world, they are this blue. And the gray is compared with people on Facebook, okay? So that's the demographics. So here's their lifestyle. Um, I haven't memorized all of them. There's like 500 different ones you have, or I don't know how many, but there's a ton. And just just click on that little icon to see what it is. So for example, if we go into select audience, so 8% of this audience is firmly established. What does that mean? Well, let, 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 let's see what Facebook has defined it as. 
And they say that apple pie families are upper middle class couples with school age children. They're homeowners, often minivan drivers and avid radio listeners. Wow, that is really, really detailed, okay? So if you will be targeting these people with this lifestyle, knowing this information, guess what? You can appeal to that, right? You can appeal to maybe minivan drivers. I don't know if there's some jargon for minivan drivers or maybe radio listeners. I'm not saying like, absolutely, this is the best way to do it. But what, but what I'm saying is you can use this information to your advantage, right? And it's saying here, this audience is 5% times as likely to be in this dog's group as opposed to anyone else on Facebook, okay? So again, the blue here is your audience. The gray here is everyone else on Facebook. So you can sort it by that as well or sort it by comparison. So for example, countries are country empty nesters. They're an interesting mix of technicians, entrepreneurs, and blue collar workers. With average educational attainment, they enjoy upper incomes, okay? So these guys are 26% times more likely to be in your group. So does it make sense to target these country ways people? Yeah, I would say so, because they're much more likely to be in this group, much more likely to actually like dogs, right, in this case. Now, dogs is an extremely broad category, 250 to 300 million monthly active users. I would by no means suggest when you create your campaign to target to this group, but I'm using this as an example, okay? So we'll get into how you should target and whatnot a bit later on. Uh, it tells you their relationship status, their education level, so crazy stuff knows everything. Facebook uses their own system and they use third-party tools. Um, it should say there's different tools they use. Uh, they do give the source. So I think if I go on activity or household stuff um, or household tabs, they will give you the source of which third-party tool they use. So we can refer back to that. Tells you their job title. So 37% of this group is in management, 31 is in administrative, 28 is in sales. So that's all the information that's available. You can see more, right? Obviously that doesn't fill up 100% or no, I think it should. Well, based on self-reported data. Yeah, anyway, this is just 37% uh, of your audience is in this group, 31% is administrative. Yeah, and then you can scroll down and see what other stuff there is. Um, yeah, we went over that. So then there's page likes. So this is incredibly useful when you are finding interests and interest groups because 250 and 300 million is extremely broad. So what we need to do is we need to narrow down and kind of see what people who like dogs normally like as well. So I don't know what any of this is. Nana Chakua. So what we can do is we can open it in a new tab. And as you can see, here's actually the benefit of putting this, of putting our um, ads in this Facebook for business because I'm not distracted by my personal messages, right? I would get messages, I would get notifications. I'm not distracted by that because I'm using Facebook for business. So I'm not going to get any no notifications. So when I look on these, um, on these links, I see it in the business mode, okay? And let's see. Yeah, so basically take a look at this. Uh, this does not look like it's related to dogs, which which makes sense because dogs is extremely broad. So there's probably a ton of random stuff here. But for example, I don't know, Chipu maybe? No, the Pet Collective looks like it relates to dogs. So let's look at this one. Yeah, so I mean, this one relates to pets, not dogs in particular. But basically what I'm trying to get across is this will tell you information that's relevant, and you can also go to this affinity uh, part at the bottom. So this is actually what I like to use because this um, tells you the relevant score to whatever you typed in, right? So actually, Yan News apparently is the number one most relevant source to dogs, and let's see what that one is. I have no idea what that means, but here it has something about cats, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, yes, yeah, so <laughs> you can sort it based on relevance or based on affinity. Affinity is how likely your audience, so in this case, you know, people 18 plus anywhere in the world that like dogs are likely to like this uh, page, and they're about, almost two times more likely to like that page, okay? That's basically what it is. I don't know why there's so many, I think that's Vietnamese or something. I don't know why there's so many Vietnamese page, pages uh, related to this, but anyway, uh, maybe, you know what, let's make it more relevant. Let's say United States. 
So now that should change. Okay, so now that's going to be a bit different. So for example, here the animals, uh, the animal rescue site is the most relevant to people who like dogs, for example. Okay, or over here you can see everything that's related, and obviously this is much more relevant than that whatever other language was um, pages, right? And you can see whatever's related. So when you do your research in your and when you make your ad sets or ad groups for Google terminology, um, you can use these interests, right? If you don't know much about dogs, for example, that's how you would do your research. The other thing is location. You can go by top country, top language. So if we delete this, let's see what the top countries are that like dogs. So it's going to be, so 20% of the people like dogs, okay? 8% are from, uh, sorry, 20% of the people of the US, missed that part, 8% from Brazil, 7% from Vietnam, which is why we saw so many Vietnamese uh, things, I think. 6% from India. And then here it, it, it tells you how likely. So <laughs> Vietnam's first here because I needed by uh, comparison, which explains why there were so many Vietnamese page likes because people from Vietnam are 200 times more likely. So not only 100 times, but this is like, this is almost like saying three times more likely not just two times, three times more likely to like this dog's page, people from Vietnam, okay? So if you want to target a country, I would probably go with Vietnam, right? Because they're much more likely to like this group. Now, this is a super broad group, so I don't think, I don't think that's going to be useful anyway. But if it was a more narrow group, something with maybe 50 to 200,000 people, not million, 50 to 200,000, uh, then this would probably help you narrow down your audience so you don't get useless clicks, right? Then you have activity. This thing is pretty cool. So this actually keeps track of, uh, did I delete United States? Yeah, let me just say United States to get more information. This keeps track of actually ads clicked and posts shared and posts like, so how engaging is this group? So people in this dogs group are actually pretty dang engaging. Look at this. They, they're almost... So again, the gray is everyone on Facebook. They're almost two times more likely to click on ads or more than two times more likely to click ads than anyone else on Facebook. Same with posts shared, same with posts liked, same with comments, pages liked. They're still more, but not more than two times like everything else here, but it gives you that information. Here's the devices. So here's why you should focus on mobile devices. As, as, as you can see data here, and this is, this is a trend I've been seeing everywhere. So it's not only for dogs and in the U United States. I see a lot more people are in these two regions. So if you focus your traffic on desktop only, that will hurt you, right? You're not going to get as many sales because everyone is shifting to mobile or at least mobile and desktop. So yeah, so that just gives you the breakdown of exactly what they're using, pages like. Household, this is cool too. This actually goes in depth and tells you how much they make. Right, and I was gonna tell you what the source is here. So it tells you sources Axiom, right? So that's where they're getting their information from. Probably some Axiom, is some third-party tool that Facebook uses, um, and you can use that as well. So if you see that, you know, people that like uh, people that are in this range are, you know, about 20 uh, 20 percent less likely to like the dogs page. So maybe you'd want to target someone maybe in this range. Right in the plus because these guys are much more likely, or not much, but more likely in this case to like dogs than any other group. Um, so there we have that. We have some spending methods. So how they choose to spend um, and and what they choose to spend on. So uh, they use bank card. So 95% of these people use a bank card. 92% use uh, sorry. 95% use any card, including credit card. 92% use bank card. 7% use it on travel and entertainment stuff like that. 43% uh, use only cash, 57% use primarily uh, credit card, stuff like that. Take a look at that. Uh, all the data that's available. Purchase is really cool too. So this tells you what what are their purchasing habits, right? So um, let's see. So 55% of this audience is spending on pet products. So if you're selling a pet product, maybe this is a good audience for you, right? Well, this is too broad again, but if it was more narrow, this would be good, right? Because people people like to spend the money here. And it says here, again, people in this audience are 15% more likely to like your group than everyone else on Facebook. So pretty good um, information there. And yeah, so this tells you uh, 
how likely they are to buy low products, medium end products, high end products, right, online. Uh, and this is retail. It tells you all that. So that's like that. That's basically it. I think I went over everything that's available in the Facebook audience tool. Uh, if you want to narrow down your audience list, you will have to do some research. We may get into that later on where I'll, I'll show you what I do and how that works for me. Uh, but if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have subscribed, thank you. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video where we're going to set up our pixels.